Hare Krishna students. So today I will discuss the rest of the part of the photosynthesis. Just like last video, we have seen that photosynthesis exactly what is it, definition what is it, and which which plants can be photosynthesis and which plant can photosynthesis not be. And here I explain that photosynthesis, how many type of photosynthesis and what is the phase of photosynthesis. Means these photosynthesis are completed in how many states. And the main photosynthetic site in plant, the higher plant, mainly that is the chloroplast. So today I will discuss about the photosynthetic site in the different kind of plant, means algae and the higher plant. And today I will explain mainly about the photosynthetic pigment. So in case of the algae, these photosynthesis are takes place in the chloroplast which is not much developed in higher plant. But in case of the algae or the lower algae like the primitive algae BGM member where the photosynthesis takes place in photosynthetic language or chromatophore. But in case of bryophyte or in case of spermatophyta, these photosynthesis are takes place in the double membrane bound cell ovules that is chloroplast. This is chloroplast can the photosynthesis of the particular pigment ki help se hoti hai aur kitne pigment hote hain jo photosynthesis mein help karte hain so today i will discuss about the photosynthetic pigment initially so this is the photosynthetic pigment This photosynthetic pigment, mainly the three type of photosynthetic pigment are present which helps in the photosynthesis. Like the universal photosynthetic pigment that is a chlorophyll. And another type of accessory photosynthetic pigment that is carotenoid. And the last one, those photosynthetic pigment which are present only in case of the red algae and BG member that is called the phycobiloproteins. So mainly three different kind of photosynthetic pigment which are important, play an important role in photosynthesis. Especially these phycobiloproteins are only a phycobiloproteins are mainly present in red algae and BG members. But in case of the higher plant, from graphite to the spermatophyta like the angiosperm plant, here where these chlorophyll and carotenoids are mainly participate in photosynthesis. So today just I want to explain about the some of the peculiar characteristics of chlorophyll. This chlorophyll This chlorophyll is a water insoluble. This chlorophyll is water insoluble and fat or organic solvent soluble. Or organic solvent soluble. This chlorophyll is a close tetrapyrrole is a closed tetrapyral structure and this is the universal green pigment this universal green pigment and this chlorophyll which is a universal green pigment mainly participate in the photosynthesis it having a pyrrole head and phyton tail like this. So this is phyton tail and this is pyrrole head. Chlorophyll molecules having a pyrrole head and pyrrole tail. I can explain with the help of the structure. This chlorophyll 
is a central atom, a central element in chlorophyll molecule that is a magnesium. Everybody knows. And this magnesium is always attached with the four tetrapyrrole ring in this way. This is a four tetrapyrrole ring. Tetra means char, four or pyrrole ring. Sense. So that's why it is closed. Because of these pyrrole ring is always attached with each other with the help of methane bridge. So this is a methane bridge. This is a methane bridge. So this will be closed tetrapyrrole ring. And in this way, if the scattered numbering current is carbon stage or free carbon sent, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is eight number of carbons you free in this way. And if J parallel rings give a numbering current on number one parallel ring, number two parallel ring, number three parallel ring, and this is number four parallel ring. So this is a close tetrapyrrol structure. But in case of the carbon atom 3 of the second pyrrole ring, if here CH3 group is present, then it is known as chlorophyll A. But in case at the same position, at the third carbon atom of the second pyrrole ring, there CHO group is present, then with the chlorophyll B. So this is the main basic difference between the chlorophyll A and B. The third carbon atom of the second pyrrole ring having a methyl group. But in case of the chlorophyll B, the methyl group, sorry, in case of the chlorophyll B, the aldehyde group are present at the same position that is the third carbon atom of second pyrrole ring. At the third carbon at the seventh carbon atom, this is a phytol tail. कई सारे कार्बन एटम्स की चेन हो सकती है 16 से अब कार्बन एटम की चेन हो सकती है सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज फाइटोल टेल सो फाइटोल टेल इज ऑलवेज अटैच्ड एट द सेवंथ कार्बन एटम ऑफ द फोर्थ पार्ट इस पर्टिकुलर क्लोरोफिल के स्ट्रक्चर से कई अच्छे क्वेश्चंस बनते हैं और वो क्वेश्चंस हैं जो नीट में ऑलरेडी कुछ मेडिकल एग्जाम्स में पूछे गए हैं जी दैट इज द इन व्हिच टाइप ऑफ क्लोरोफिल वेयर द सीएच3 ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट that is chlorophyll A. But in another way, a question may be used that this CH3 group are present at where? This CH3 group are present at the third carbon atom of second pyrrole ring in chlorophyll A. So this chlorophyll molecules which are here phytol head and phytol tail. And this is a organic solvent soluble molecules, not water soluble. These chlorophyll molecules are generally following types. Are generally following types. Following type means that these chlorophyll are mainly chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C. These chlorophyll A are present in all green plant. All green plant and all algae. All algae. But in case of the chlorophyll B, it is present all green algae and all green plant. This is main basic difference. This yellow chlorophyll A है basically ये chlorophyll A जितने भी green plant होंगे और जितने भी algae होंगी उनमें ये compulsory है वो नहीं होना present हो but in case of the chlorophyll B it is always present in green algae and all green plant but this chlorophyll C it is present only in phyophyce phyophyce and the diatoms 
ये क्लोरोफिल से जो फ्योफाइसी मेंबर्स हैं ब्राउन एलगीज हैं डायटन से उनके अंदर मेनली प्रेजेंट होता है इनके अलावा जो अदर्स क्लोरोफिल हैं उनमें जैसे क्लोरोफिल डी एंड क्लोरोफिल ई क्लोरोफिल डी एंड क्लोरोफिल ई दिस क्लोरोफिल डी आर अ मेन अबेंडेंट अबेंडेंट इन ब्रेड एलगी That is root of five member. In any chlorophyll E, that is chlorophyll E, are abundant mainly in genthophysi member. Genthophysi member. So genthophysi member के अंदर abundantly वो chlorophyll E and abundantly chlorophyll D are present only in red algae. So this is a different kind of chlorophyll. If you have any idea about the biosynthesis of chlorophyll, anybody? ये जो chlorophyll है, इस chlorophyll की अगर बात करें, that is the biosynthesis, so it is synthesized with the help of glycine. When the glycine are combined with succinyl coenzyme A, the first the proto chlorophyll will develop the proto chlorophyll will develop and later on from which the chlorophyll is developed so this proto chlorophyll is a precursor of precursor of chlorophyll in proto chlorophyll this is a biosynthesis of chlorophyll ye jo chlorophyll hai is chlorophyll ke alawa ek aur photosynthetic pigment hai jo mainly participate karta hai accessory hai ye jisko hum log bolte hain carotenoid that is called the carotenoid ye carotenoid Which is also water insoluble, water insoluble, fat soluble pigment, fat soluble pigment, and this is accessory pigment, and this is accessory pigment. ये जो pigment है ये accessory pigment है मेरी, और ये carotenoid These are the conjugated double bonded hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons. And do not synthesize and do not require the light for their synthesis. And do not require the light for their synthesis but it absorb yellow or orange light and to give So that's why this carotenoid is a orange, reddish pigment, and this carotenoid are mainly two types. One of the carotene and another one is xanthophyll carotene jisko aap likh sakte hain c40 h56 aur iske bare mein likh sakte hain this is oxygen derivative of the carotene that's why it is c40 h56 o2 carotene 
common type of carotenoid that is lycopene or the beta carotene. That is common type. And the common type of xanthophyll that is lutein. Or some of the other example of the xanthophyll that is fugogenetic. ये जो कैरोटिनाइड है इस कैरोटिनाइड को विच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड द प्रोटेक्टिव पिगमेंट विच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड द प्रोटेक्टिव पिगमेंट क्यों बिकॉज इट प्रोटेक्ट द क्लोरोफिल फ्रॉम फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन बिकॉज इट प्रोटेक्ट द क्लोरोफिल बिकॉज इट प्रोटेक्ट द क्लोरोफिल फ्रॉम फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन फ्रॉम फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन क्योंकि ये जो कैरेटेनाइट पिगमेंट है ये फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन से बचाता है क्लोरोफिल को दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रोटेक्टिव पिगमेंट दूसरा एक और है बिकॉज दिस कैरेटेनाइट इज ऑल्सो हेल्प टू कन्वर्ट द हार्मफुल ऑक्सीजन इन टू द हार्मलेक्स ऑक्सीजन means nascent oxygen ko it can be converted into the molecular state it help to convert the nascent oxygen into harmless molecules this is a main characteristics of एक क्वेश्चन सही कि ये जो रेड कलर के टोमेटो होते हैं और जितने भी रेड कलर के फ्रूट्स होते हैं बेसिकली दिस इज ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैरोटीन ऑफ द कैरोटीनाइट्स ये जो मेनली जो कैरेट है जिसको हम बोलते हैं डॉकस कैरोटा इन दिस डॉकस कैरोटा द स्पेसिफिक काइंड ऑफ कैरोटीन इज प्रेजेंट व्हिच आर हेल्पफुल फॉर योर आईज व्हाई बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी ईट द कैरेट then it can it reach in the liver and we are which change into vitamin a in this way the c40 h56 h2 then it change into retinol that is vitamin a or you can that is carotin सो यू कैन एक्सप्लेन आप इसको बोल सकते हैं एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं कि जो रेड कलर का टोमेटो होता है और जो रेड कलर की गाजर होती है उन सब का कलर इस कैरोटीन की वजह से होता है सो द रेड कलर टोमेटो एंड कैरेट इज ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैरोटीन Mainly beta carotene. So this is a, some of the important points about the carotene. And the xanthophyll, which is also the accessory pigment, and which is a common type of xanthophyll that is the lutein, and which is mainly present in the different different kind of algae like the pheophysin member. In the pheophysin member, the different shade of the brown green colors are due to olive green colors is due to the presence of amount of pigment. ये फिगोजेंटिन के अमाउंट के ऊपर डिपेंड करेगा उस ब्राउन एल्गी का ऑलिव ग्रीन कलर कैसे आया ओके सो हम लोग बात करते हैं नेक्स्ट अनदर वन फोटोसिंथेटिक पिगमेंट की जिसका नाम है फाइकोबायोप्रोटीन्स दैट इज ए फाइकोबायोप्रोटीन्स एंड दिस फाइकोबायोप्रोटीन्स आर वाटर सॉल्युबल and chemically it is open tetra pyrrole structure it is open tetra pyrrole structure which is opposite to the chlorophyll chlorophyll is a closed tetra pyrrole structure it is the open tetra pyrrole structure where the methane there is present it is absent here and so the spikoglins are mainly characteristics of red algae 
and brown and sorry and the BGA member and this phycobiloproteins or the phycoglins is also called the phycoglins and these phycoglins are mainly three types first is the phycoerythrin phycocyanin and allopycocyanin and the allopycocyanin ye jo basically phycoerythrin hai it is mainly red color and which is present in the red algae where which is represented R phycoerythrin. It is a R phycoerythrin. And when it is present in the BGA member of the cyanophysin member, there it is known as C phycoerythrin. Phycosanin. There is R phycosinin, which is present in red algae, there is C phycosinin that is present in BGM. So, this is an important point about the phycoblins. So, this phycoblins is also act as a photosynthetic pigment and which is present mainly in the red algae and BGM. So, this is a small sum of the point regarding the photosynthetic pigment. And later on, I will discuss the main photosynthetic pigment which are present in the group, which are present in the thylakoid membrane, which is called as photosynthetic unit. Here the photosynthetic unit here. That is called a photosynthetic unit. You know, photosynthetic unit hai, according to the old concept. Old concept ke according the oxisome. Oxisome are act as a photosynthetic unit. Are act as a photosynthetic unit which present in which present in thylakoid membrane. And each oxisome having a 230 molecules chlorophyll. This is your old concept. This oxisome, which is photosynthetic unit, which is present in the thylakoid membrane, and which is a, each molecule of oxisome having a 230 molecules of chlorophyll, where the chlorophyll A and B are present in 3 to 1 in ratio. This is the old concept. But according to the new concept, according to the scientist, which name is Macaulay Case, who explained the photosynthetic unit, and this photosynthetic unit is consist of the 300 to 400 chlorophyll molecules. According to the Macaulay case, these photosynthetic unit consist of 300 to 400 chlorophyll molecules. These photosynthetic unit have a 
having a 300 to 400 chlorophyll molecules. And these chlorophyll molecules, which constitute the photosynthetic unit, which is mainly two type, means this photosynthetic unit, short may, how many schools accept it? PU, that is photosynthetic unit, and which consists of two different kind of part, the two different kind of main, like the antenna molecules. Antenna molecules and the primary photochemical reaction center. Primary photochemical reaction center, in the short, we can say the PPC or core complex. So antenna molecules, which is a specific kind of the chlorophyll molecules, which can absorb the different wavelength of light and the PPC, the primary photochemical reaction center, which is also absorb a specific wavelength of light. Just like we have discussed, we have discussed that the photosynthesis is two types of oxygen and oxygen. In the oxygen photosynthesis, we have explained where the PS1 and PS2 both are present. So here, you can say this is a photosynthetic unit which may be the PS1 and which may be the PS2. This is a new concept. So, you will know that this is the PS1 and PS2. PS1 means photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. You can say that this is pigment system 1 and pigment system 2, which is consist of antenna molecules of primary photochemical reaction center. Like, if we explain this PS1, then in this PS1, one will be primary photochemical reaction center and the other will be antenna molecules. So this is a antenna molecules like this. These antenna molecules are the antenna molecules here the chlorophyll A683 wavelength of light to absorb it. Here the light is spread in the form of photons and in the form of quanta of light that light which is antenna molecules here absorb it that is the antenna molecules. ये एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स क्लोरोफिल A683 को एब्सोर्ब करेगा देन विल बी एक्साइटेड और ये इंडक्टिव रेजोनेंस के थ्रू इस तरीके से ये प्राइमरी फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सेंटर को मिलेगा जैसे ही प्राइमरी फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सेंटर को ये एनर्जी मिलेगी बिकम्स एक्साइटेड एंड टू रिलीज द इलेक्ट्रॉन और ये प्राइमरी फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सेंटर ऑफ PS1 जो होगा वो होगा P700 यहाँ पे क्लोरोफिल बी और कैरेटोनाइट भी होगा लेकिन हमारी जो इंपॉर्टेंस है इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी एस वन वो ये है कि ये पी एस वन के अंदर जो एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स है विच इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ दिच इज विच कैन बी एब्सॉर्व द क्लोरोफिल ए सिक्स एटी थ्री एंड इन केस ऑफ पी पी सी विच एब्सॉर्व द सेवन हंड्रेड बेबलेट ऑफ लाइफ एंड जैसे ही बेसिकली इंडक्टिव रिजन के थ्रू एक्साइटेड होगा इलेक्ट्रॉन पीपीसी को मिलेंगे दैन विट विल बी एक्साइटेड एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इट Okay, so this is a PS1. ये PS1 जो primary photochemical reaction center और antenna molecules का बना होगा, ये PS1 है। कई बार questions पूछते हैं कि PS1 के अंदर antenna molecules क्या होगा? तो PS1 का antenna molecules होगा chlorophyll A six eight three। और PS1 का ही primary photochemical reaction center होगा P seven hundred। दूसरी चीज़। ये जो PS2 है, इस PS2 की कहानी कुछ different है। इस PS2 के अंदर जो primary photochemical reaction center होगा वो होगा P 680 ये होगा प्राइमरी फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सेट और इसका जो एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स होगा वो एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स ये होंगे एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स और ये जो एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स होंगे वो होंगे क्लोरोफिल A 673 एंड बोथ आर कंस्टिट्यूट to form PS2. यहाँ पे ये PS2 को बनाएगा, तो ये photosystem two और ये बनाएगा PS1 को, तो ये photosystem one. 
और दूसरी चीज की जो फोटो सिंथेटिक यूनिट होती है ये क्या होती है शायद आप लोगों की बात समझ में आई होगी कि फोटो सिस्टम का मतलब है पीएस वन या इसी बोलते हैं पिगमेंट सिस्टम और इसी बोलते हैं फोटोसिंथेटिक यूनिट ओके okay.